Hi, I'm Danny, and welcome to my channel. For today's video, I have my June update to the Color Pan Project Pan. This is a project that was created by Misty, and she is linked down below. Basically, the goal of this project is to work on our products from ColourPop. It can also be from their sister brands, Soul Body and Fourth Ray Beauty. Choose three to six items to work on at a time and set whatever goals you would like. This project did start, I wanna say January 17th or 18th of this year, goes to this, about the same time next year. I do have the dates linked down below so that you can check those out in my description box. So let's go ahead and jump on into my progress. I do have a couple of goals met. The first product has been in here since the beginning, and this is a lippy pencil from ColourPop and their collab with Bretman Rock. This is in the shade Dukes. As of the last update, I had used it 65 times. I have used it seven more, and I do still have quite a ways to go. It is a beautiful burgundy lip pencil. I'm actually wearing it today. It's it right there. And I do have the Bite Beauty Maple Lipstick from my Panners Pan on top. So that's the lip combo that I am wearing. So I do have my progress marked back here. You can see where I was last month, seven uses, just made the smallest amount of progress. But compared to where I was when I started, I'm pretty happy with the amount of progress that I have made. This has gotten a lot smaller and I can definitely see the change going as I continue to work on this. The next one is my ColourPop Creme Gel Color in the shade Charmer. As of the last update, I had used this 61 times. I've used it 14 more, and this is empty. I have finally finished off another pot of eyeliner. I'm so happy. It was the color of the lid. It's a beautiful burgundy shade. I did have to revive it a bit with Duraline. I didn't mind doing that at all. Actually, it does remind me a lot of this one, Dukes from uh, Bretman. So this is an empty for this project. I am so happy to have another one of these finished up before it completely dried out on me. Next, I rolled in a Super Shock Shadow because I was trying to find products to roll into here. So I rolled in the shade Bloomer. As of the last update, I had used Bloomer three times. I have used it eight more, and this is what it's looking like. This glue has completely come undone. It does come right out of the packaging. So let me just hold it like that. So you can see that I'm wearing off some of the pattern. I've made a bit of progress. I'm at 11 uses. I still haven't hit pan. I do try to use it evenly across the whole surface of the eyeshadow and this is it right here. It's a beautiful color. I am wearing it all over my lid today on this uh, inner portion. So the goal is to hit pan. I'm at 11 uses so far on this. Next is from Fourth Ray Beauty. This is an argan oil. I did change the top out and I did put a dropper top in here because I had it from another uh, product I have from ColourPop. It was brand new. I've used it 16 times and I am right here. The product was all the way up into the neck because the dropper did take up some room in the bottle. And of course, that means the product went further up the neck of the bottle. I'm at 16 uses. I've made a little bit of progress. Um, it's not my favorite oil, <laughs> but I will continue using that up. I have used it on my face. I have used a little bit of it in my hair. I often forget to put a little bit in my hair stuff, uh, hair products when I have just finished washing my hair and run it through there. But I have done that once or twice and my hair just like this as well. And then the final product is my ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip in the shade Scorcher. As of the last update, I had used it 12 times and I was about right here. It had a huge bubble in it. I've used it 45 more times and it is completely empty. I took the stopper out and got every bit of product out of there that I could. Try to, at least uh, I gave it a good try. So this one is empty and that is with 57 uses. So I have two complete empties, which I am really happy about. Now, typically at this point, this is where I roll new products in. And I'm a little bit stuck in this project. I pulled out my inventory and I looked through every single category that I have. Looked for anything from ColourPop, Fourth Ray Beauty, and Soul Body. I have nothing from Soul Body. Uh, Fourth Ray Beauty, I have two other oils. I'm already working on this and a hyaluronic acid. I'm already working on two hyaluronic acids. 
I looked at my eyeshadows and I am already working on four eyeshadows from ColourPop in my Pan Those Eyeshadows. So, so the eye I'm focusing on my ColourPop nine pan palettes in that project. I looked at like I have one more lip liner, but that would make a fourth lip liner with a goal to finish. I looked at eyeliner. I'm currently working on six eyeliners to completely finish. I looked at lip glosses and I have, I could roll another one in here, but I have five lip glosses that I'd need to finish before I could even touch this one or the next one that I rolled into here. So there is a theme where every single category that I looked at that had something from ColourPop, I, it, it conflicts with everything else I am trying to pan. So I could put products in these slots. However, I wouldn't be able to use them or start using them for months. And so after giving it a lot of thought, I think what I need to do is just call this my finale to this project. I do still have these three. These three products that I have not hit my goal on, but I can easily roll these items into another project and just work on these ColourPop items there. I don't want to keep updating you on <laughs> like my lip liner. As you can see, the, lip, the progress marks are kind of small and this is gonna take a long while to go through. And this one I may hit pan, but again, if I just keep, I could fill it all with eyeshadows, but I'm already panning so many eyeshadows. So I hope you guys understand why I'm gonna call this one done and complete. I have finished five products in this project pan. I, it is a great project pan. It's open to anybody who wants to join. So if you would like to, please feel free to, but I think I do need to call it the finale on this project and just focus in on all of the other products I am trying to finish up that are conflicting with items I could potentially roll into this one. I hope that makes sense and I hope you guys understand why I would like to end this project now. So that is my, I guess, my finale for you. You can check out everybody else who is doing this project just by following the hashtag color pan. You can look here on YouTube as well as over on Instagram. Before you go, if you haven't, I hope that you'll please subscribe to my channel and ring that bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for stopping by. Mm -hmm.